Welcome back to my channel. Okay, y'all, I am so super excited. Today we are doing my four year lock update. If you want to see how these locks are doing, four years down the road, my DIY micro locks. Keep watching. Okay, so let's get right into it. My name is Tiana. I do all kinds of things on this channel. Following my micro lock journey is the biggest thing. So that is what we are doing specifically today is following my micro lock journey and seeing how they have changed. And I always try, so I will continue to try to do like um, comparison videos between the first year and this year and all that fun stuff. But let's talk about how they're doing today. Still loving them <laughs> still loving them um i feel like um maybe like three years in and eight months they kind of looked like four-year locks to me like they just looked like it they look a lot more mature like all the way down kind of locked and sealed even though they all are not locked and sealed um yeah, so they, they just kind of started looking like it to me. So, yes, I'm going to show you them and give you as many. Let me make sure I have enough light on me, too. Okay. So that you could see them. Um, like I said, some of my ends are sealed and some are just not. For example, this one, it is just not. Not sealed. It's still got a lot of curl to it. And then I have some, and I can never find the one I wanted, like this one, perfect one, where it's sealed all the way in. And I did hear somebody say like your ends. So wherever that one is, it's another one where it's not sealed and it still has a curl at the end. And then the one right here is sealed. So I heard that your ends kind of like fold up, which kind of makes sense to me. So this one sealed and the other one is not. Um, but yes, this is the other side. So four years in, most of them, I think most of them, or it could be half and half, honestly, are sealed and not. I don't really know. <laughs> I've been trying to figure it out, but when I'm playing with my hair, or like looking like when I look down or something, I can see the ends very well. And I still see quite a few that are not sealed. Um, I still do the four point rotation and I am going to turn around in a little bit, but I don't want to lose my thought. I still do the four point. Well, I, I was doing a four point rotation, um, but I am considering on if I want to change that one or not. So I will keep you updated on that. Um, I still don't really put anything in it though. I have tried. I don't really put anything in it. Still just kind of shampoo and keeping it along. I did try conditioner to see how I felt about it. So, but that's fairly new. So I don't want to say there's something that I've been doing. It still is pretty much fairly new. Um, if you don't already know, I'm allergic to almost all the oils you could think of. So I can't put oils in my scalp. And sometimes my scalp does get um itchy because i think it's because i don't put anything really in it and i also think because these are always rubbing against my scalp so while i go when i go to sleep i used to put my hair in a large pineapple then it got a little too long for that and a little too heavy so i split it into two buns while i go to sleep um but i kind of stopped doing that too as far as like tension wise and because even though it's two buns, it still seems like it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, what I have been doing lately, and this is just really, really recently lately, is wrapping it. Um, not using hairpins or anything, but really like putting my head down, finding the center of my head, pulling it all down. And then with my hands, just kind of making it go into a wrap. And then I put my scarf on it. And then I take the scarf and rotate it to kind of seal the wrap a little bit more so that the front part of the scarf that I tie ends up being up here. So yes, that is that. Um, I do have, there's another one that's not sealed. I do have um, 
the two new ones that I'm trying to start, I'm pretty sure this is it. Because I felt like these, these, this hair was always coming out of the lock around it. So I kind of felt like, let me just start them. And I have another one. I think this one is maybe a little bit more forward than the one I just showed you. So, yeah. And when I first put them in, when I first started them, so, you know, I gotta be careful of that. We can't have that. <laughs> when I first put them in, the two new ones, I did like barrettes or like even beads to try to keep it in so it wouldn't come out. But if you don't already know, I have super curly hair, nice 4Z curls. So even though they're super short, I am able to, I don't have to like do anything to them to keep them from coming out. Now, if I feel their root getting a little too loose, I might retie it even though I'm not ready to retie the whole thing. I might retie those new ones. Um, I had one in the back that was the shortest or so I thought, the one that always kept coming down. I honestly don't know anymore because it has grown out quite a bit. So one of these is it maybe this one uh not all the way short and this one also is a good example of how some sealed some has like a curl and then like a ball at the end of them so this one has like a ball at the end and some of them with the ball at the end is hanging on by like like strands so this one is a pretty solid ball like i wouldn't mess with that one i would just keep it as i have been but if it's like a ball and it's attached to like four strands or something i might honestly like rip it snap it off um because it drives me nuts because i'm like you're just hanging on by a little thread here so that's that and then um is there anything else i do wet it a lot more and that's still kind of new too. So I don't even really want to speak on that too much. But I do wet it a lot more. So some of these pieces over here are crinkly because um, in the midst of me wetting it, sometimes when it dries, it does it crinkles on its own. And I might do something weird or funky. So, you know, you just hide those in there, hide those in there. Um, and let me see, anything else? I don't remember how many locks I have. I do know that is in my description at the bottom. And since then, um, I'm going to try to make sure I update it, but it should be two more. So not at 300 yet, but very, very close to 300. Here is a one where it's like just a few strands. And then the ball is at the end. These ones drive me nuts. And sometimes I might find them like that they fell off themselves and they um the ball came off at the end. And let me see, retie schedule, still kind of six to eight weeks, still six to eight weeks. I've been doing a little bit better, so they haven't been stretching to like the 14 weeks or something that I was doing. I was definitely coding off for a long time, but I've been trying to be really, really good about making sure I get my reties done on time. So now let me turn around to the back. And I hope that you thumbs up this video. I'm just going to change my head cover and all that fun stuff. But don't forget to thumbs up this video. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you started your lock journey. Um, if you could see the difference from mine between day one and now. Um, and I do hope to do a measuring video soon. So we can measure them and see how they are. Um, most times though, the measurements come out. Many of them come out the same. Or it might be the same even though it hangs longer. Like this one right here looks like it's hanging longer than the rest. But many times when I measure it and measure other ones around it, it'd be the same length. So that's kind of weird to me. Let me turn around for you, for us. All right, here we go. These are our side views of what it's looking like at four years. Do, 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 do. And let me turn to the other side and then I'm going to turn all the way around. This is what it looks like on the side. Okay. And let me turn around. I think I'm in there. I hope. I hope everything looks fine. I don't feel like checking another mirror to see. So if I watch the playback and it's not what I want, I'm gonna be mad. But no, it should be fine. Um, Yes, this is what they look like at four weeks, I mean, four years. And 
I noticed that these bottom ones are a lot skinnier than the rest, but that makes sense because my hair in the back is very, is, is not as cur tightly curly as the rest. Of course, the middle, like most people, my middle is very, is a curly, yes. But my back, we have some pretty, uh, pretty loose curls right there. Not super loose, but they're definitely looser than the others. And like I said, I did try conditioner. Um, I'm hoping it didn't leave a lot of white like in my hair. So sometimes if I put certain stuff like aloe, I tried to go back to using aloe, but it just leaves too much white. And I'm just, I don't like that. It just leaves too much white, which honestly, when I think about it, not when I was a natural, but I remember it being in high school and I was using um, aloe vera gel from the store as a gel because, you know, I knew it was better and more organic and things. Um, I remember, it keeps seeming like the thing is moving, but I remember it being a lot of uh, leaving deposits in my hair. So, yes. This is four years, and then let's do our ponytail. I'm not sure if I have the right ponytail holder. I know I have a satin one on me, but I'm not sure if I have a regular one. Not the best one, but this one. I do want to do a half ponytail soon, though. I think that's cute. Got to do a half ponytail soon. Oh, you know what I wanted to say while it's happening to me right now? They tangle up so much more now. And I try to be really gentle when I'm untangling them. But it's almost like I untangle it just for it to get tangled again. So I don't even all the way untangle it as much as maybe I could or should. <laughs> it gets tangled. But I do like that when I put my head down, um, I could see my hair from the side so much. Almost like if I put my head down, it blocks my view. Like this is not the best scrunchie we've got. So I'm gonna double do it for now. But this is our four year ponytail. Let me know if you see a difference, y'all. Let me know. I know there's a difference between one and two, but sometimes I'd be like, hard for me to see the difference between the year before and the year it is now. I think you're getting a good view. Let me stop moving real quick. <laughs> like that is our ponytail and a bun um like i said in year three update because they kind of mature at different things doing a bun i have to almost always use a net if i wear a bun in real life in my real life so this is what you got okay this is what you got i have another screen you'll see if that uh means something the ponytail might be a little higher than, or my bun is anyway, than normal, but let's see if this scrunchie helps out. I think it helped a little bit. This is the bun. I know it feels really high, but that's okay. And yeah, I tried to put in a bun because that's what I do in all my lock updates. If you didn't watch any of them, you can always go back on my playlist, my lock journey playlist, and you could see everything there. Pretty sure the bun is coming out. But yes, y'all. I want to say probably the biggest thing for me in year four, and you know, I'm newly year four, but the biggest thing so far is it gets super tangled. And I don't know, I might've said that in year three, but 
to the point where now I do like this and I try to comb it out and with my fingers and be as gentle as I can. I do try to be gentle because I don't want to be so rough that I pull a lock out. I've seen that happen on somebody's, uh, on somebody's TikTok and that was a little scary. So I don't want to pull nothing out. So I try to be really gentle and sometimes I even go all the way to the end and take it from the end and untangle it wherever it is. But yeah, the tangles, um, how it covers my side and I'm going to show you that as I turn back around and, and just the look of it, it just looks like four year locks to me. I don't know if it does to you all, but when I reached like three years and eight months, it just looked like four year locks to me. All right, so like what I mean is when I, if I put my head down like this, I cannot see on the side at all. And that's something that helped me know that they were kind of growing out a lot more because if I put my head down, it blocks my whole view. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I also want to point out, I used to do a lot of tension blow drying with them. I don't do that anymore. I kind of just hold the blow dryer there and let it dry, but I don't pull it to dry. So it doesn't stretch out as much or as it used to. So that really shows me also how it has grown and how they are maturing because I still get a pretty good length and it's not stretched out. And if you are somebody starting your lock journey and you haven't realized, you know, from watching other lock journeys, your locks still have some shrinkage. There still are pieces that you could pull and stretch so even though they're locks depending on your curl it still is a lot of shrinkage so like this is a good example of this one because it let me stretch it a lot you see um it's landing right there but it stretches way down here so it landed right here but it stretches pretty far so you still get some shrinkage it's not as much as it would be if i was in my loose state but you still get quite a bit of shrinkage still in your lock journey and with your locks but yes that is all um please don't forget to like this video subscribe if you enjoy content like this i have more lock journeys to update you on and so hopefully you'll get those updates soon and yes and as much as possible shades and say shades of sage my sister's channel check her out all things motherhood over there and my channel we're really trying to build our watch time hours so the more you can watch the whole video it really really helps us in your free time just letting our videos play that helps build our watch time so if you're able to help us build our watch time so that we can get monetized but thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed any questions comments leave them down below and then hopefully god willing soon i will do a visual lock journey for you so that you can see pictures and videos of what they were looking like from year from day one all the way up to year four but that is it for today thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed don't forget the thumbs up until next time adios